Hey, good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me click a few buttons here. There we are. All right. Barbecue. Did somebody say barbecue? Hey. Okay. So, Tuesday night. Here, let's get this... Uh, We'll get this kind of rolling here. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for the purpose of the recording. Uh, this is, uh, my goodness, November, uh, November 2nd, Tuesday. It's 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, where has this year gone? My goodness. We're, we're, almost, we're almost at this time of year, if, if not already there, where we you know, need to start thinking about how we did this year, what we can change, what we can improve things like that. My goodness, I don't even want to think about that. All righty, so um, the SPY here, uh, the market in general, uh, let's talk about this first, and then I want to talk about watch list, uh, building a watch list, where to get ideas from, social media, uh, newspaper, CNBC, where you know, we'll, we'll talk about a few places, and I'm sure you guys will have some great ideas as well. Um, so as far as the market goes, I have to be 110% bullish today. Um, I have to be 110% bullish going forward based on the chart. Uh, the SPY looks bullish, and there's just a couple of things that I look for uh, in a chart, keeping it kind of simple. Um, I want to see that there's a, let's change that color, let's make that bigger, and... Uh, Let's use this color maybe. There we go. Um, I want to see that there's a trend. Um, I use two trends. I'll use the T-line. I don't, I, I don't, you know, necessarily, every time I look at a chart, I don't put lines up underneath price or anything like that. I just want to see what the general trend is. And I can see the T-line is up. Another... Um, moving average that I use, T-line is just the moving average, is this these green dots. We call this the trendicator. Um, pretty easy to put on your charts. And all this is, is a 17 exponential moving average. So I, I'm just going to look at those and you can clearly see the mark, market spy is in a trend. Um, the other thing I look for is, well, what is price doing right here? So I'm very bullish right now, 110%. I can't not be because of what I see in the charts. Uh, but what if today was to do something like this? Well, I might be bullish overall, but I, I can see that we might be headed for a little pullback, and it could be worse than a pullback, but that's not what we have. So we can't we can't dream stuff up. We, we can only really use, I can only really use what's on the chart. And truthfully, that's it right there. There's nothing else. You know, I look at price action. I will look at the chart pattern. Um, this happens to be a nice little breakout with follow through. The trend is up. Again, I can't not be bullish. We can look at the, at the Q's. There we go. Q's is the same thing. Diamonds, same thing. Um, IWM, same thing. I can't not be bullish. Um, but I can be cautious, okay? I can be cautious. And what I'm cautious about is we've got that doggone FOMC meeting minutes information that, that's coming out tomorrow. So I have to be cautious with that. Doesn't mean that I'm bearish. I had a couple people ask me today, why am I nearly in cash? Why do I plan to sell? Uh, if BTBT is up tomorrow, if KR is up tomorrow, if LVS is up tomorrow, uh, it, you know, before noon, I'm going to sell them. I'm going to take my money and I'm going to walk away. Not because I'm bearish, just simply because I want to be cautious. And that's just my way of being cautious. Now, somebody else might have another way. Somebody else might be, uh, say, long all those I just remember, just mentioned. And somebody might come in here and say, hey, I'm going to buy a VXX just in case. 
Well, that's your way of doing it, not necessarily my way of doing it. We all have our ways. By the way, VXX would be like, uh, uh, I, I've heard it, you know, hey, I'm buying some insurance. Okay. I would rather kick my feet up tomorrow, um, take a little time off maybe because it, as far as I'm concerned, it's just going to be boring as snot, and uh, maybe go pick up my backyard and get ready for winter and things like that. Um, you know, when I take little longer breaks, maybe that's everyone has their way of doing it. So, uh, as far as going into tomorrow goes, I'm extremely bullish, absolutely bullish. Uh, T2122, you know, T2122, a lot of people look at this, I look at this, and we, we look at it up here and we say, well, this is, this is bearish. Okay, well, how's that worked out for you being bearish? So th this is not a, this is not, and I know that, that we do look at this chart a lot, okay? Um, but it doesn't mean because it's up here, we just run off and be bearish. In fact, I would argue that when this T2122 is up high, I tend to make more money. I tend to be a better trader. Again, we're all different. There's no one cookie cutter uh, way to, to, um, to trade. There's no one cookie cutter way to look at a chart. Uh, it just, it's, it's what works for you the best. And uh, so I look at this, yeah, yeah, it's in an overbought condition, but you know, here it is overbought here, overbought here, it's overbought now. I can't predict what it's going to do tomorrow, but I can say, how'd all that shortness work out for you the last few days, this last week? So, you know, this is, this is where, okay, perhaps we get a little cautious in here. I get that. But if we go back to what really counts, which is the chart, which is just another word for well, not really, I guess. I was going to say price action, but I guess it's not. We're going to follow price action. We're going to follow the chart, follow the trend. It's kind of hard to be bearish here without a bearish signal. It's kind of hard to be bearish here um, without a bearish chart pattern. So uh, I just want to show that and make it clear to everyone. I'm, there's nothing bearish about this chart. Um, however, there, there are things in the news um, that can change that in an instant. Uh, there are things, uh, you know, like tomorrow, um, Mr. Powell, uh, whatever he has to say, if the market doesn't like it, we could turn bearish in a minute. I mean, in a red hot minute. We could tootle right along. Uh, kind of cruise up here to what about that 2 p.m. tomorrow and in a red hot minute it could turn bearish and that might change everything but that's just kind of the name of the game of trading so uh, have a little caution tomorrow is all I would say uh, as far as the market goes and as far as trading goes so let's talk about watch list I want to talk about that and man I love any kind of input so please don't be bashful um, ask any questions anything like that and I, I have to tell you that a lot of successful traders have realized the power of a watch list. And a lot of traders that may not be, be you know, as successful as they like, they've also found the power of a watch list. And then, and then there's some that have, they understand the power of the watch list, but they don't know how to use a watch list. So let's talk about that. Just well, we're going to kind of go through the steps as I see it. Now, just because I'm going to go through the steps as I see it doesn't mean that it's the right way. Okay, everybody, uh, everybody might do something a little bit different, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think the the overall shell we might be in the same area. Somebody may have more a, a different input here. Please share that. Uh, if you have a different idea about a watch list or ways to find stocks to put on the watch list, I have a couple here I'm going to list. Um, 
So the first thing that I think we need to do is understand how to, um, it's one thing to come up with stocks. We have to put them somewhere. Okay. Now I use, I have two tools and uh, let's see, I'm going to, Doug, I, I happen to know that Doug has the same tools that I have. Okay. Dave may have a different set of tools, same with Phil or TD, and that's the only names I can see now. Okay, so everybody might have a different set of tools, but I think the overall way to do it will be about the same. So this right here that you're looking at is TC2000. It's just a tool, okay? So let's start a watch list. So all we need to do is come up here to this W up here, and we're going to create a new personal watch list, and I'm just going to name it uh, today's date 21 and just type watch list. Okay. And just click. Okay. And it's bare. There's not a thing there, not one single thing there. So we want to add to this watch list and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I, I, I use, I use another watch list, and I use this all the time. I use another watch list as well. And I'll just, uh, here, I'll put this one down here like that. Just like that. Let me make sure this stays on the top. Okay. Um, so I use two different tools for a watch list. And you, you know, maybe some people don't have TC2000 or you don't have the LTA scanner. That's fine. Whatever you use. We have to have a place to park some trade ideas. Um stocks you might like or for whatever reason you want them on your watch list okay so this it's that simple right there so say i want to put a watch list on tc2000 i could click on here uh click the the um let me i'm gonna have to make this a little taller move that over um there we go i can right click and then see where it says add symbol list this, this one way to get there i can add symbols to this just take apple and click enter and now it's right there um take microsoft okay there it is so i'm just adding some in a minute we're going to talk about where to get some of these ideas from now i'm going to close this um the the scanner I, you know i think what i'll do is um well, no, let's do that. Uh, the scanner, that's really simple. Uh, I'm going to come down here to user-defined list. Uh, it's a little tiny bit more cumbersome than TC2000, but it's not bad at all. Uh, so let's just type in Microsoft, just like that, and just click the X. There you go. I've got it on there already. And it's that simple. It really, really is. And it's so powerful to have a watch list. And the reason it's so pow powerful, I'm going to bring this over because this is 540 stocks. You can see the number. I don't know if you can actually see it uh, if it's in the camera. But this is 540 stocks in TC2000, okay? This happens to be my, we'll say, mother watch list, okay? That's my big watch list. So how in the world am I going to watch all those? I can't. I can't possibly keep track of all those. And can you imagine somebody that, that keeps track, tries to keep track of 3,200 stocks? You can't. And I used to do that. Try. I used to try. You can't. You miss so many. But that's okay. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. So there's no way I can manage these stocks. I can't do that. Um, so I find it much better to keep um, a list of stocks that maybe fit certain criteria. We'll talk about criteria here in a minute as well. Yeah, Phil, that's my universe. It's just the CBO for CBO. <laughs> you know which ones. And um, I've added a few to it, but not too many. Um, that, that's all it is. So where was I? Okay. So 
you can see how easy it is to create a watch list, whether it's on a TC2000 tool or the LTA scanner tool, or again, somebody here might not have any one of those tools. Whatever charting package you have, I'm sure it has a way to create some kind of list. If it doesn't, um, you might want to rethink the charting package you have tomorrow. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it has that, okay? Now, so let's talk about where are we going to get ideas? Well, how about CNBC? How about Reddit? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with social media? I mean, if that's where you want to get your tickers, that's fine. Um, stock twits, IBD, uh, Motley Fuel, Fool, Motley Fool, Kramer. Yeah, you know, you know, there is nothing wrong at all. And, and I've heard some people, you know, oh man, Kramer, you know what? Just take his stocks. Cracker Jack box, yeah, yeah. If you like something somebody threw out there, right, yes, myself, Doug, right way options, hit and run candlesticks, absolutely, absolutely. Um, other trading rooms, you know, I'm, man, I, I want everybody to, to gather ideas because it helps me too. Man, there's all the time somebody will put something in the trading room that I might not even be watching, might not be on my, my, my universe. Okay. And if I like it, I will add it to my universe, or at least I will add it to my watch list over here. So gather the information as much as you can, just absolutely as much as you can. Now, there is, there, there, there is a problem with, um, here, here's where the biggest problem lies, uh, is knowing what is it you want. Know, knowing what is it you want. Um, you know, maybe, maybe we'll just use the spy here. Maybe you're somebody that likes charts coming out of a rounded bottom. Okay. Maybe you're somebody that looks for some kind of chart pattern. Okay. Um, and this is something that everybody has to know. I, I've listed some things here. Maybe you want gaps. You only want gaps. And what I mean by that is, uh, take uh, anybody see BBY today? BB, BB, Bed Bath Beyond is up here right now. Uh, had blew out earnings. So maybe somebody says, you know what? I only want to trade uh, gaps. So while it's it if you turn this on real time it looks like this but if everything stays the way it is right now bbby should open up somewhere up here tomorrow okay so maybe somebody says you know what my strategy is i want gaps and i'm going to be patient and wait for a pullback a buy signal or maybe Whoops, change the color there. Or maybe I will buy on follow through. Yeah, moto, moto car, you're right, car. Yeah. So maybe somebody says, look, I love these. Don't, don't ever think, by the way, you've missed anything here in car. You haven't. You, you haven't missed a doggone thing here. So what you do is you put this on a watch list. Um, let's see, add. So I can just type in car. There it is, just like that. Another way you can do that is, and I and you guys will see me do this often in the trading room. We'll be looking at a chart. I'll like that chart. I'll come right up here to the top right corner and I'll flag it. Because now what I can do kind of a group because I don't just because I like car right now and flag it right now or 
BBBY, let's flag that right now, that doesn't mean I have to be buying it. In fact, that's probably, that's probably miles and miles apart. You like it. By the time you like it, it's probably already moved. Not every time, but a lot of times. So don't panic. Don't panic. It's okay. <laughs> Drats, yeah. <laughs> Drats. <laughs> what we can do is come over here to where we flag it. And again, I, I think all quality um, charting packages have this. I can right-click on this, view flag. That's everything I have flagged right now. I can right-click, and I'm going to copy all flag to the clipboard and come over here and paste it in my watch list. Now, I can do the same thing with this. Um, really don't want to do it to this list. No, that's okay. That's all right. I can do it because I can change this tonight. Uh, so I can come down here. I can go to the main, whoops, wrong, clicked on the wrong thing. I can come over here to user defined list. This is the list right here. And I can come down and do that just like that. Now on this, I have to, it's just easier if I take off because it always puts that TC2000 thing on there. I can take that off. And then all I have to do is click the X and it's on there just like that. And so it's, a, it's just a great way to, uh, anyway, this little tool here, it's really fast to do it. Now, I, I think what somebody has to do, if not every day, every couple days, is go through your watch list. Who cares what other stocks out there are, are just jamming? Concentrate what's on your watch list. Your universe. And you have to go through that watch list. And if there's if there's something in there that I'm going pretty fast so I can get to one. I know there's going to be, well, there's not. Wow. Maybe there's one in here you don't want. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. All right. There's nothing for me to remove. So here's another way I will do it. We have earnings. So let's start here with car. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove anything that has to do with earnings. Um, that's today. Uh, let's see. Let's, there, 1118. Maybe I don't want had to have anything to do with earnings less than 30 days away. Well, I can come in here and delete this. I can unflag it. Come over here. I can delete it right off my watch list just like that. And you've maintained your watch list. Because you only want on your watch list what still makes sense to you. Now, of, now we need to talk what makes sense to you. And, and this is the part that I don't know if I can help, help you out with this right here, right now. I know that Doug can help you in the trading room in the right way options. I know that I can help you in the hit and run candlesticks room. I know that there's people in here that can help each other. And that this part is knowing what you want. You have to know what you want. So um, we could take a car, for instance. Car. The other car. There we go. So, so maybe you are a pullback trader. As you're filtering through charts, or you get this from Kramer, or you get this from the jack-in-the-box, you know, where, wherever. You might say to yourself, you know what? I like charts that pop up on volume. That could be one of your strategies. And now you're going to wait for a pullback or consolidation. And maybe you're going to wait for buyers wherever, you know, where I can't predict where it's going to happen here. As far as I know, tomorrow morning we're going to open up and go higher. That's very possible. But you know that this chart is something you like. So you put this on your watch list. And then as you filter through your watch list, which 
should never be more than you can handle. If you can't run through your watch list this fast or faster and and decide whether that's a good chart, that's a good chart, that's a good chart, or that's a bad chart, that's a bad chart. If you can't do that, then you're looking at one too many maybe, or you don't clearly know what you're looking for. And you have to clearly know. So I, I, I um, what is there? there there's uh, gaps, uh, BBB, just because we know this one now. <laughs> I'll, I'll never find any of the others. <laughs> Um, we know that, that Bed and Bath Beyond uh, blew out earnings and is gapping up big. So is this a gap and run? I, I don't know. But maybe you put this on your watch list tonight, right now, and then maybe tomorrow you focus on it, and if it starts to run, maybe you buy it. If it starts to pull back, you're thinking, yes, I'm going to wait for it to come back to me. There's, there's breakouts and then you've got to ask yourself, do you want breakouts to all-time new highs? Or do you want breakouts just through resistance? <laughs> you've got to blink every once in a while. I know. You know, I, I could look at that list with 500 and some stock on, stocks on it. I could do this till I'm blue in the face. And man, and I have for a long time. Because they didn't used to have the tools they have now. When technology doesn't work, Ooh, I cuss it up a storm. But believe me, when this technology works, it is it, it just makes life so much better. So much better. Uh, so breakouts, you've got to decide. And by the way, there's no reason why you can't li like all these that I have listed. You can't. Uh, I don't think that's a good choice for uh, new traders or struggling traders. I don't think that's a good idea. I think for new traders or struggling traders, I think you need to pick something or two or three and focus. Focus. Uh, um, yeah, focus. Um, I, 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 what, what's that show? It was on last night. We watched, My wife and I watched it. Uh, Front Sight Focus. Now, now I can't think of it. Huh. Anyway. Um, Three eighths traps, three eighths traps. Doug teaches a heck of a class on three eighths traps. Look, if you've taken the trap, focus. Use that. Use that. Um, you know, let's see. Is Hut is Hut still a three eighths trap? I don't know. Nah, it was a three eighths trap. It's broken out now, or maybe. Uh, a, a chart pattern that I really like is a 3 8 trap breakout. So it's literally taking a 3 8 trap using that top line and breaks out. That, in many, many cases, is a buy. I like that. I like that. Um, let's see. What else do I have here? Um, anyway, the 3 8 trap. Uh, uh, candlestick signals. Maybe... Maybe you're really, really into candlestick signals and you want to be the candlestick guru and, and that's what you want on your chart. So maybe you chase around uh, bullish engulfs or, or morning star signals or belt holes and maybe you want them to come off resistance. So you have to know this kind of thing. You have to know what you want. And then your watch list, it doesn't matter who you get your stock from. It doesn't matter at all. It could be Kramer, could be me, could be Doug, uh, could be Thomas there, could be um, Jack in a Box, uh, social media, stock twits, any one of those. Reddit, doesn't matter. You put that on the watch list and you wait till it comes to you. Wait till it's in your pocket. What is your pocket? And that's what you've got to decide what you're looking for over here on the right-hand side. Um, let's see. Um, maybe, you, maybe you're looking for, for some price action with indicators. There's nothing wrong with that. You have it so it triggers on your alerts, wherever your alerts are. This can be used as an alert system. I don't think much of it. 
I use the live trading, live trading alerts, LTA, because it alerts me in real time for the exact chart patterns I want. You know, I, I know that uh, Bank of America is a 3H trap. I know that. Um, I know that KHC is a 3H trap breakout. So, and you see where it was a 3H trap and see it breaking out? I know that because of the tool. Um, so, in, we talked about indicators. RBBs, maybe you like rounded bottom breakouts. I'm teaching a class on that the end of this month, two days, uh, two separate classes, two days, the end of this month. If, if, you know, if you're looking for rounded bottom breakouts and that's, that's not a rounded bottom breakout, uh, NIO, you know, if that's your thing, you know, here's the start of a rounded bottom breakout. It actually, all this through here is a rounded bottom breakout. You know, uh, LVS, you know, if this is your thing and you want to, you want to focus on this, focus on it, put it on the watch list. You know, if you, if you want rounded bottom breakouts, you can do that. Um, uh, let's see here. Here's, here's, here is, here is a watch list that I have for, uh, rounded bottom trap breakouts like, like KHC. And there's only eight that fit the qualification, but this eight, you know where I drew this from? I drew this from that universe that I use. So I have several choices that might, you know, that might come up throughout the day, but it's just, all this is, is a watch list for a three H trap breakout. Put that back. Um, and you can also use a combination of all the above. All righty. Let's see. Let, let me answer some questions. And then if, if somebody, please feel free to put some stocks out here because um, po post some stocks that we'll look at them and I'm going to look at them as for me and decide whether I want them on my watch list. And we'll talk about them. And I, and, and that, that's the only, and I mean, I can't, I, I don't know what Bill likes or Rickster or Malcolm. I have an idea what Malcolm likes. You know, I have an idea what Phil likes. Um, but I'll look at them and then I'll explain why I like them and then, but it doesn't mean they're not good trades if I don't like them. If I don't want to put it on my watch list, it just means, that's eh, it's just not my cup of tea, okay? So let me grab some questions here. I need to adjust this. There we go. I think Rickster, Rick's, I think Rickster was the first question. So you have a list, and from that, uh, you put it in LTA. Um no, let me let me finish your question and then I'll explain it to you, Rick. Uh, let's see. You have a list, and from that you put it in LTA. So when the alerts gets notified, um, light bulb just went off. No, let let me let, let me just be sure that we're clear on this. Okay, um, th this right here. Well, th this is not check mark. Let me do this one. Because this is my manage, which I need to show you that. So, so this is my master list right here, the CBE OE 400. And I'm using all of them. And that reminds me, I need to show you something else here too. Uh, I use all of them. And I even add some on. Now, I don't have very many added on. I really, really don't. I, I bet I don't have 20 added on. But on this list, not all the spiders will be on it. I want the spiders on it. I want to see what the spiders are doing. I actually watch those when they come up. So I've, I've combined two lists, my own list and the CBE OE400. Now, from there... What I do is I create a, um, 
let's say, let's say this, this rounded bottom trap breakout. What I do from there is I create everything that I need to pull rounded bottom breakouts plus, remember all those that I listed, those type of setups, a combination of them. So here I pull out the rounded bottom breakouts and then I put other things with it like a 3 8 trap yesterday or the 3 8 trap the day before. And then I want to be alerted when it breaks out of the trap. So I've taken this list and I've just created a list. See, this is the magic of technology right here. It's just the magic of technology. And I and now this comes up with eight possible symbols. I, I've had people say, Rick, how do you stay so calm in everything you do? I do because I don't work at it anymore. Technology is fantastic. So anyway, that's what I do there. Okay, something that I wanted to mention that uh, somebody in the room, Tex, did in the room today, uh, which I thought was a superb idea. I'm going to, let's see, that. This is going to mess me up because that was over there. Let me put this back. Ah, this is going to happen no matter what I do. Sorry, guys. I should have known better to do this. There we go. Um, let me fix this before I get myself. There we are. Okay. So, uh, text what he did in the room. Um, in the trading room, in both trading rooms, there's a... Uh, what they call room drive. It's just a folder up there. If you click on that folder, every month the CBOE 400 list is updated. Now th that's just the list I use. It does not mean that that is the best list in the world. I use that list mostly because I'm just as lazy as sin. I'm, I'm, I look for a short shortcut any which way from Sunday. So anyway, what Tex did is he took that list and then sorted it by the top. I, there's 19 on there that he sent. Now, maybe there's more, but he just clipped off 19. But he sent the top, I think it was, the top most active 19 based on options from that list. What a fantastic idea. So simple. You've got... We'll just call it an even 20. Now, you just, have to, you, you just have to know what you want. And when you see the setup, like AMD here, this is something I like. I like this type of setup. Just like that. Uh, I like Microsoft. Uh, I like Apple. I like NIO. There's a lot of them here I'm going to like. So... It's not hard to do. What's hard is to sit back and do nothing if your universe is not doing anything. That's what's hard. And what happens, we end up looking for stocks because we think we need to be trading. I believe we would be better traders if we would focus on our specific list. Now, I'm going to put that back over there. Okay, I wanted to say that. All right. Now, let's let's see here. So let's let's take a look at some charts and I'm going to look at these as are these charts that I'm going to like and let me uncheck this so it quits moving down. Uh Bill. So Bill put out IRM. Thank you by the way. Thank you. So I look at this chart and yeah, you know, I kind of like it, but I also know what's out there in the market, and this is probably not what I'm going to put on my watch list. I love this chart. I do, but it's not something I'm going to look at. Uh, beautiful trend. I love it. Look at that hammer. Look at that. But I also see this resistance right here. Now, because throughout the day I look at charts and because I looked at charts a little bit when the market closed tonight, I know 
there's charts out there that I like better, that I would be more interested in trading. I love this chart. I do. Whoops. I just now decided I hated this chart because one of my conditions is get as far away from earnings as you can. So there is no way on earth this chart would make my watch list right now because there's too many charts that I don't have to worry about earnings. Now there's too many, we don't have to worry about earnings. So no, I wouldn't put that on my watch list. I do like the chart, Bill, but I like the chart only above that 47 area and after earnings. Thank you. Um, let's see, Dahl put out there JCI. So let's check earnings first. Earnings is in a couple ways. Not on your best day would I put that on my watch list. Not on your best day. So, so let's, let's think about what we want in a watch list. We want charts that are reasonably close to what we want. Now, and this is another one. I love the bottom. I love the rally. I love the fact we broke out of the 50. I love the J-hook setup here. I see resistance here. It's only 2.5% away. Why in the world would I want to trade this? I have no earthly idea. I'm just being straight up with you, doll, okay? I can see you could make some money, but I've looked at the charts out there. There are better ones. And there's no earnings. So, so let's step back for a second and let's say, you know, I like this chart because if it has earnings and they're good, it could break out. Let's not, let's not fill our watch list with a lot of wishes. Let it break out. You'll find it again. The watch list is for serious trades, not for wishes. This is a wish trade, in my opinion. Now, and, and please, don't anyone take any offense. I'm seriously looking at these as if I want them on my watch list. And it doesn't mean that I'm right. I'm right for me, but I may not be right for you, doll, or Bill. So don't, please don't take any offense here, okay? NNDM, thank you, uh, Ricky, Ricky Lee. Whoops, try that again. Uh, NNDM, there we go. All righty, God dang it. Man, this chart just about made me flag it right here. So um, I love the bottom. I love that. And by the way, rounded bottom breakouts are near and dear to my heart because if it wasn't for the rounded bottom breakout, I just don't know if I would be where I'm at. Now, it all started with something else called a pinball setup, very similar but different. Uh, but truthfully, this is, this is the setup that just, I think, is the cat's meow. And I love this chart, and I hate this chart at the same time. Absolutely no way will I put this on my watch list because earnings is just in a few days. I love this chart. I know, just like that other one up there. Well, what if the earnings are good and it breaks out? Don't clutter our watch list with wishes. Put only charts in there that are ready. So if this has good earnings and it breaks out and it's all great, you're going to get another chance. Thinking, the truth is, thinking you're going to catch this, you're smoking crack. Everybody who thinks they're doing this, you're smoking crack. It's not going to happen. For the majority, yes, there will be those couple people that catch it. But the reality is it's not going to happen. So don't chase them. Let it break out. If it's truly going to be bullish, it will show you its colors. 99% of all stocks are going to pull back. It just will. Or maybe just go sideways. You will see this. You will find this. Now you can put it on your watch list. When it does this, when it does that big breakout, 
Don't put wishes up there. I love this chart, but I can't put it on my watch list. What's another one here? Tesla. Yeah, Tesla is a little big for my britches. I'm not going to lie to anybody here. I can't trade Tesla. It's just too big for my britches. But you know what? A chart in a trend, let her rip. Let her rip. Just trade that trend. Absolutely. By the way, Malcolm, I nice. Uh, I know Malcolm's been trading it. Uh, today he took some profits on it, I believe. Congratulations. Nice. Uh, BX. I love BX. I want to say that again. I love BX. Look at that. Earnings in January. Look at that. Beautiful chart. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Notice I already have it flagged up here. Look at that breakout. Look at that pullback. Look at that bullish candle. I want to stop right there for a moment. Somebody that's thinking, don't even type it, okay? Somebody that's thinking, man, that is nice, but I missed it. Or if you ask, don't type this, by the way. Did I miss this trade? No, you did not. If this is what you are looking for, and you're and this is this is this is your trade. If that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to catch these for that, you're smoking crack. It, you you are. It's just not going to work out for you because you're you're not going to catch enough. You trade enough, you'll catch a few of these. But the reality is, you're not going to catch it. So what do we do? We take this chart and we tell ourselves, or we ask ourselves, what is it do we like? What do we like? Do we like charts breaking out? If you don't, skip it. Do you like charts that pull back a little bit? If you don't, skip it. If you do, however, do something like that. Put a buy box up there. Put that on your watch list. Now me, I'm going to put that on my LTA scanner. Some cases, I'm going to put it on what I call uh, a hot list, which BX might end up on the hot list, or it'll be on my managed list. And speaking of that, for those that don't know where that is, take this link right here and save it. We don't. I don't even have this link published, posted, or anything. There it is right there. No one even knows about this unless I've given you this list or that link or you've seen a video or something like that. And if you come down here, I have a watch list. I update this every couple of days. Every couple of days, I'll update this. Just using this alone, I think, would be beneficial. And that, by the way, is my managed web list. So on my managed web list, there's only 30, I don't know, 30-some on here, 34, something like that, 32. But you can go to this and every day, or not every day, but every, every couple of days, I will update this. You're more than welcome to take that list, use it, use it as a starter list, things like that. Okay. So I can come over here. I'm watching very few stocks over here. Uh, and maybe that'll be on my web list tomorrow. I don't know. I, 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 I haven't. That's something I do either late in the evening or very early in the morning. Update some of those. But I do have this here. And, and I, I probably will have this on the, my hot list. Because I like this chart. So what am I going to wait for? I'm going to wait for a pullback here because when I see a chart like this, I assume, now I know we're all taught never to assume. Well, in stock trading, throw that out the window. Assume. Just go right ahead and assume. Because if you go back and look, this is, this is one of the patterns that gets trend started. So I don't believe I've missed this at all. And I can never catch this. And I'm convinced that the majority of traders in the world cannot catch this. 
So what I do is when I see the chart pattern there, when I see the breakout, like we have the breakout here, when I see a candle like that, I'm thinking I want that on my watch list. Why? Because I think that's going higher. I, I don't really particular care where it's going to go. I don't get into the fib lines. Oh, it's going to go up here, go there, go there, go there. I, yeah, I don't do that. I just look at this and I see what a bullish chart. I want part of it. Now that it's made its move, I'm going to put it on the watch list, a very limited watch list. And now I'm going to wait because I can manage this. This I can manage. There's only 22 stocks on it. I can manage it. I can come through here and, and I, can, I can look at stocks. If that's what you want to do, if that rocks your world, you can handle that. You get up into 175 maybe, it gets, it gets too, too insane. I use technology. Te technology points them out to me. I don't do the whole w walking through the list anymore. I use technology. So if it starts coming up on my manage list, I can come over here and look at it. Like FSM, I can decide. Why do you think I have FSM on the watch list? Let's go look. Because it's a rounded bottom breakout maybe? Because it's been in a rally or run? Because it's pulling back? Because I'm going to wait for that for that chart setup. Might be a 3 8 trap. Might be a 17-8 uh, trap. Might be a breakout of the trap. Might be a breakout of that high. It's that area I'm looking for. And I still think this goes to, uh, to the 200 up here. Now, this does have earnings. This was on the watch list long before earnings, though. Back down here. So, keep your watch list small. Sorry, I got carried away here. Let me look at more of these chart, <laughs> charts. Uh, I got carried away. Uh, let's see. Slim, we're going to... Uh, here's a starter list. Thanks, Slim. Everyone, that's a great idea. Take... Let's see. BX is there. Look at that list. I can already tell. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. There we go. Look at Marvel. Let me move this up. Why can't that be on the list? Ah, let me share. Let me share why we don't want this on the list, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna debunk that big time, man. This could be a shooting star. Darn it! I don't want that on my list. Wrong. Are you kidding? I absolutely want this on my watch list. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, there we go. Look at that beautiful breakout there. Look at that beautiful candle there. Look at that beautiful run right there. What does this mean? This means we're, I, this means to me that there's there's a high potential of a pullback. Please, Lord, give me a pullback. I promise not to screw this one up. Are you kidding? This is wonderful. Put that on your watch list. Manage it. Monitor it. Wait for that time that you like it. Thanks. I love that. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Look at that beautiful chart. That is a nice chart, folks. Earnings in January. Why not put that on your watch list? Do you know why a lot of people won't put this on your watch list? Because they've missed it. Huge mistake. You didn't miss squat. Truthfully, the odds of you catching it here, 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 or even early here are slim to none. Once we realize we can't catch these early moves. Now, truthfully, I can see where this could have been bought here if you're a 3H trap trader or even in there. But if you don't have these kind of trade setups, then you're just not going to catch them. That's a beautiful chart. I I'm not going to go through all of them if you don't mind. Uh, but excellent, excellent. I see JCI. I think that has earnings. See, I wouldn't touch that. I wouldn't touch the earnings. Don't screw up your watch list. Uh, let's see. Let's see. SWCH. SWCH. Beautiful. Earnings on the fourth. No way. Stick my finger in my throat and gag. 
I want nothing to do with it. Now let me stop for a second. That's just me. That's just me. If you are somebody that says, hey, I could care less if it's earnings or not. Because this happens to be a gorgeous looking chart. Absolutely gorgeous. And if it starts to break out, boy, I'm going to wish I owned it. But there's no way I would put this stock on my watch list purposely. Now, with the scanner, they can come up because they're not pulled out. That's not something the scanner can do today. Down the road, perhaps, but not today. But there's no way I would put this on a watch list because of earnings. Again, that's just me. If it turns out it has good earnings and it does something like that, great. And, and this is where, have a come to Jesus meeting with yourself, really. The odds of, of somebody catching it on those good earnings are slim to none. Now, I, and I'm not saying somebody won't catch it. I'm not saying that you can't buy it in here and hold it, hope for the best through earnings. It could happen. But, but to clutter your watch list for a wish just doesn't make sense. Let it do it. And then it will give an entry. It will. Anyway, thank you. Nice chart. And, and please, I, please understand, I'm, please don't anyone take any offense. I'm looking at these as if, do I want them on my watch list? Okay, so it uh, doesn't mean they're right or wrong or indifferent. It, it, I'm looking for myself here. Um, Nordstrom's. We get Nordstrom's. Wins earnings. Okay, I'll buy that. I'll, I'll, I'll buy in on that. I think there's plenty time here to make some money. This is one of those rounded bottom breakouts, near and dear to my heart. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's up three days in a row, so I'm a little bit leery of it. But that doesn't mean that I might not want to put this on my watch list. It doesn't mean that I'm going to, uh, well, let's put it on the watch list. I'm going to flag that. So what am I going to do now? Now that it's on the watch list, um, I'm going to put uh, a buy box in there. And that all that does is it just takes my eyes to it. That I mean, I I very my memory, you know. I I don't know what I talked about tomorrow. I won't know what I talked about or looked at tonight. So I put little clues up here. So if all of a sudden if Nordstrom's comes in here and does something like this. I see this box. Oh, hey, this looks nice. I like that. Yeah, boy. I buy it. Okay. Nice chart. I like that. Um, IRM has cookies. <laughs> it does. It has cookies, but it also has earnings. What Malcolm is, <laughs> is talking about is, is the, uh, the, the, the bullish, not so bullish, bullish candle here. Um, like a Fig Newton is what it is. <laughs> That's cookies. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's see, Rick Marvel. Uh, if it can, if it can just uh, rest and hold a uh, breakout, I might fall in love again. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm totally up for that. I'm totally up for this. So this is an absolute perfect one to have on your watch list. I think. You know. A lot of times what we do is we run around chasing charts that are, are in some big, big, you know, we're, we're chasing this wish and we look at that chart, well, I can't put that on my watch list, it's, not, it's too far gone. No, that right there is the best chart to have on your watch list. Not because you're going to buy it, it's up too many days, but because you want it to pull back to support. If it's not on your watch list, it's harder to find. So anytime you're flipping through charts and you look at a chart and you say, man, 
Look at that. I wish I would have bought that here. Look at that run. Ding, 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 ding. That's the chart you want on your watch list. BBBY. 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 That's the chart you might want on your watch list. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a big gap trader. Um, a week from now, perhaps. But this absolutely might be one on your watch list. Um, let me look at some more here real quick. Uh, let's see big. Let's look at big. Let's see big. Um, whoa, where would big come from? I've been kind of watching. No, no, wrong big. Oh, it is the wrong big. I was, I've been watching a different big, uh, BBIG, but this is just BIG. So here we are in one of those rounded bottom breakout. This is what I'll be teaching to, uh, scan for in both TC2000 and the scanner uh, with codes and everything. Um, we'll be, in fact, this is my RBB chart right there. That's my RBB chart. And this is what we'll be doing here toward the end of this month, looking for these, how to find them, how to trade them, so on and so on. Uh, beautiful. Wins earnings. December. I can handle that. Nice chart. I'm going to flag that. Thank you very much. That is a chart I would absolutely love on my watch list. Absolutely love. Thank you. Thank you for that. Beautiful. Inverted head and shoulders. Broke out of the 50 there. Good upside potential. Yeah, boy. Thanks. Um, let's see. Old friend. Yeah, um, WKHS. Yeah, I peaked at that today. That's coming up. Rounded bottom breakout. That's another one here. Wins earnings on the 9th. You know what? I'm not going to bite on this one. Uh, earnings is, it, it, it's maybe after earnings. If it's still in this setup, absolutely. Absolutely. And because of the technology, I don't have to chase it. I know it'll come up. Uh, so, but I love this chart. A primo chart, but there's no way I can flag it for a watch list because of earnings. Um, let's see, open and Z. Um, open. Um, open is not my cup of tea. So there's no way in the world I'm gonna want this on my watch list. Not, not even remotely close. Um, it's moved down too much. I'm not interested in this sort of thing. Uh, if you're looking for a short it's going to have to probably have some sort of, it's going to have to break down here. If it breaks down below the 50, then I would consider it. If it rallies up and shows a sell signal, that might be a good place to short it. If that's what you're looking for, um, outside of that, long wise, no way I would want this on my watch list. Plus earnings is just in a few days away. Z. You're obviously looking for shorts, Milda. I think that is a given here. Uh, so uh, I can see what you like and what you want to look for. Um, earnings is over. Okay. So here we are down. You know what? I'm going to look at this uh, real time just to make sure that it's not doing anything. So it's down there further. So we're going to take that off now. And it's, uh, what is it? It's down here somewhere. So, Okay. All right, let's put this on our short watch list, all right? But we're not going to trade it. Why aren't we going to trade it? Because that's not a setup. That, that, that's not a setup. This is, for me, it's not a setup. Maybe it is for somebody, but not for me. We're going to open up down here based on what we know at this time of day. This chart has gone from this high all the way down here that I don't want to chase it. So... I might put that on my short watch list, waiting for some sort of a relief rally over several days. And then what I'm gonna do maybe is watch for that sell signal. But I'll put it on the watch list and I'll wait for that setup, okay? And we can go back and now that I know what you're looking for, you're looking for shorts, then we could do the same thing with that open. I'm not gonna chase open 
this might be what I want on my watch list, but I'm going to wait for that setup. And that setup might be a relief rally and then a sell signal. Or that setup might be down below the 50 and a rally up for a blue ice failure or just consolidation maybe like this. Okay. Uh, let's see. LFG. Whoops. LF, LFG. Nice chart. Earnings on the 15th. I'm not interested. I'm not going to flag this, but I do love the chart. Look at that. Belt hold, gotten bullish in golf. We had follow through and now we've pulled back. Not interested in buying it. I typically only buy on bullish candles. You wrote above 1950 and that makes good sense based on what we have here. Now, um, what if, what if it continued down? The 1950 is out of the picture now. Because now it could do this, something like that. Now we might be looking at, I don't know, 1875, give or take, something like that. So the 1950 is out of the picture. So based on what we know today, right now, yeah, above 1950. I love the chart. I like that. What you have to be careful of is that top up there after that. You know, I think that's a nice looking chart, but earnings are on the 15th. I'm not going to get it nowhere near my watch list. I don't want to taint my watch list. Uh, Kramer tips. Yeah, you, you know, there is nothing wrong at all. Um, Kramer. So um, I watch Kramer from time to time. And just like Reddit, um, well, let me back it up. I do not believe Kramer does this. I want to make that perfectly clear. I want to make I, I I'm 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 extremely confident this is not his intention or anything. But it's just a true fact. If you have enough followers, you mention a stock, it could move the stock. Now, I think Reddit is a bona fide pump and dump, but Kramer's not. Take all his trades, make good of them, put them on a watch list, but make sure you're looking for your setups, three-eighths traps, breakouts, rounded bottom breakouts, candlestick signals with follow-through, um, whatever your thing is, but you have to know what that is. And not everybody's here is the same. Not everybody's is the same. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I don't think Kramer is bad. Yeah, I, yeah. It, it's not Kramer. It's it's his charts. It, guys, look. It, it, it's not Kramer at all. It's one thing is is. Since I don't follow news, I could care less that he thinks it's a good chart or anybody, or it's a good company. I could care less about fundamentals. What you're trading there is the fact that somebody mentioned it, just put it on the watch list, but you still have to let it come back to your pocket. You have to do that. And you have to know what that is. You absolutely have to know what that is. Take car. Car. The other car. There we go. Did we miss car? We missed today, yes, but so what? How do you know car is not going to go to 1378? You can't say it's not going to. You don't know it's not. But this is not the buy setup for me for sure, guaranteed. Let's wait for the setup. BBBY. B B B Y. So it if it's still here, it's here. Does anybody think B B B Y can go back up here? I do. Now just wait for the setup. That's the key. That really is the key. Is knowing what setup you want 
and it could be multiple setups, and then wait patiently. Isn't it clear this is gapping up? Let's not throw it. Let's not throw it to the to the wolves here. Let's see, green, 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 green. So it's gapping up. Let's don't throw it to the wolves. Evidently, I mean, it got up there because buyers like it. So that means there's buyers on board. Now we just wait for our setup. And what is our setup? I don't know because I, don't, I can't predict what this is going to do. I can tell you that if it starts to break out, that's a possible buy for me. Yes, it is a breakout. If it pulls back, if it wants to pull all the way back to the 50, I'll just make the 50 right there. If it wants to pull all the way back here, that's fine and dandy. I'll wait because that pullback is too deep. I'll wait for the proper setup down here. And that might be a trade. Because there's a whole lot of traders that are involved with this chart. And I absolutely think it can still go up here. And it could absolutely, from here, it could absolutely die on the vine. This is why we're going to wait for the proper setup. And the proper setup for Ken and the proper setup for me might be two completely different setups. Uh, yeah, that Jeff does look good there. Yes, it did. Uh, PSTI. PSTI. Look at that setup. Linda. Nice. Nice. Yeah, volume's a little shy. See, this would never make my watch list. Earnings are okay. Chart is primo. Absolutely primo. I love it. Love this setup right here. But because of the volume, it'll never make my list, so I'm not going to flag that. Nice chart, though. Thoughts on ICPT? ICPT, uh, I'm going to have to be bullish. Earnings are tomorrow. It's a dog. Now, remember, I'm looking at these as if I'm looking for my watch list. Why my watch list? I absolutely love the chart. But earnings are tomorrow. Yeah, it's a dog. E S G C. Uh, that I I don't even think I get that one. E S G C. Oh, I guess I do. I love the chart. Oh, a little cheapy. That's okay. I love the chart. I'm not going to flag it because I don't trade cheapies like that. But I absolutely love the chart. I think there's plenty of volume in it. Yeah, almost a million shares traded today. Pretty. I, I think it's nice. Rounded bottom breakout. I think it's a terrific chart. So now what are you going to do? You know, th this is where make your plan. Are you going to buy above there? Are you or are you already in it, or or are you going to buy here? Which is it? And, and just just make your plan. There you go. Nice chart. I love it. But I don't trade those little charts. Uh, DHR, DHR. I love it. I really love it. Thank you. Uh, I'm glancing at earnings. Thumbs up on earnings. We're coming up here. I love it. Yes, I know somebody is frantically typing, but isn't that a blue ice failure? Only if it fails. You guys know that, right? Do you know that uh, blue ice failures, head and shoulders, are only blue ice failures and only head and shoulders failures if they fail? Okay? So, yeah, that could absolutely be a blue ice failure. It could be. I love this chart, and I love the idea of buying it above the 50-period moving average, and I love the idea of putting my stop pretty close to that. I love that. I absolutely think potentially it could get back up here to this top and possibly break out. Nice pullback. We rallied up, made a high. We came back and made a higher low. I'm looking for a breakout of that high. That also will be a breakout of the 50-period moving average. 
two thumbs up. I love that chart. I'm flagging that one. Thank you. Like Tesla? Uh, follow the trend on Tesla. I, yeah. Yeah, follow the trend. That, that, that's, I, I think it's insane, but I, I don't trade Tesla, Dave. Um, just follow the trend. Do I think Tesla could be a $5,000 stock? Hell, there seems to be enough groupie, Tesla groupies. Yeah, yeah probably, probably. Um, and then I'm going to back that up a little bit. Let's just wait till GM and Ford and everybody else gets their electric cars out there and Tesla will really learn what competition is. So I don't know. But right now, do I like Tesla? Yeah, follow the trend. Just follow the trend. VIAC, uh, is that an RBB? No, it is not an RBB setup. Nope. RBB setup has to be in this neighborhood right here. Uh, this could be setting up one for a scoop pattern. That's possible. Possible. That would be the handle. This could be the, the cup part of it. And then a breakout that would make that bullish and that would be in an RBB setup. Uh, can somebody draw me a line down there? I need to go. Uh, please, CLT. Uh, CLT here uh, is coming up out of a bottom. Yes, it is. Let's see. I'm keeping my eye out for the next pullback. I think that's a great idea. Earnings, I assume, are over today, according to TC2000. So that's an okay thing. Um, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Nice trend you've got working here. Over the 200, I think that's sweet. Over the 50, that's nice. Making good headway. Volume seems okay. Yeah, let it pull back. This is a perfect one for the watch list. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. You put this on the watch list, you let it come to you. And, and where do we know where, where that is? Truthfully, we don't. You can draw all the lines to your, to your blue in the face. You'll know where it is when buyers start to step in. You, you can put up all kinds of support in here. You'll know where it is when buyers start to step in. Uh, the chart could do something like this. It could come down in two, three days and just start going. And that could be where to buy. It could also just kind of walk around all the way over here. And then maybe it goes. It could walk, away, walk all the way over here and then die. This is why we want to wait for those buyers to step in. Nice chart. I love the chart. I love the idea. I love the idea. I love it. I'm not going to flag it because it's a buck 93. That's the only reason I'm not going to flag it. Outside of that, I think it's fantastic. I just noticed the volume on it. Super. Sweet, Scotty. Thank you. Nice chart. Let's For those that like these... Put that on your watch list. Let that setup come. Maybe your setup is a 3 8 trap. It's close. It's broken out. It could come back to that 3 8 trap. Maybe, maybe it comes back and just test that, which that would be in the 3 8 trap. Just test the 200. Maybe it walks for a couple of days and then goes. Anyway, two thumbs up on that chart. Nice. Um... Uh, yeah, Dave, I, I hate uh, earnings. I, I, I truly hate, hate earnings. I, I hate Brussels sprouts, and I hate earnings even more. Box. Uh, box here. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe you want this. I'm not going to put this on my watch list. Uh, and, and again, I, I want to remind everybody, I'm looking at charts tonight because of the watch list. I'm looking at charts as if I want them on my watch list. That doesn't mean that they're not good for somebody else's watch list, okay? So please don't take anything personal. There's no way on 
earth I would put that on my watch list. Not even remotely close. Look, take a look at Box. Take a good look at Box. Good look at that chart. Look at all those wicks. I know it's a 3-8 strat, but just because it's a 3-trap doesn't mean it's a buy. Doesn't mean it's a good chart. Look at all those black candles in there, or red candles, if somebody uses red and green candles. Look at all that resistance right there. Look at that resistance right there. Now, take a good look. Put a snapshot in your head on this. And it's okay if you like this chart. It's okay. Now I want to show you a list we've been sort of working on tonight. Look at those charts. Cleaner. More decisive. Something you can argue with. Something you can make sense with. That's what you want. Clean. Decisive. Organization. Some of those I'm going to kick off. See what I mean? This chart, Chewy. Look at Chewy. I love this chart, Chewy. We made some money here. I know some people still in it. Look at that chart. Oh my goodness sakes. That is gorgeous. Now I'm waiting for the alert. And I don't know that the alert's going to happen right here. Heck, the alert could happen right down here as far as I know. I can't tell you where it's going to happen. It, it's not me that finds these. It's the technology. It's the tools. Anyway, thanks, Emily. I hope that makes sense to you, okay? Z. Z, Z, Z. Uh, short, I guess. Yeah, short, I guess. Uh, wouldn't be sh Oh, wait a minute. This We already looked at that one. I think it's sitting down here now, somewhere down here. 7,000 houses to sell. <laughs> uh, let's see, Ricky. Thank you. And everybody, I have got it ready for bed. Yeah, me too. Uh, I believe and I understand the scope of tonight's lesson. Thank you very much. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you very, very much. Good night. Um, let's see here, Jeff. Uh, but one can make a lot of money from pump and dump. Jeff, now I, I want to let let's not let's not blow smoke up everybody's skirt. Now I'm I agree with Jeff. I want to say that right now. I agree with you, Jeff. But if you were to just go pick out 100 traders, just pluck them from the sky and put them all in a room. You might find one or two that can handle that kind of stuff. Now, everybody wants to do that because that's sexy. It really is. Reddit is sexy as can be. And that's what they want you to think. But the truth is, the reason that pump and dumpers make money is because 99.9% .9 of the people out there don't know how to trade pump and dump charts. So while I 100% agree with you, 100%, the majority of people don't know how to trade those type of charts. But yet, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, it sells, man. So that's what people want to go to, and they lose all their money until the next group of people come in. So I agree with you, but I have to pump the brakes on it. F just fairness to everybody out there that's listening. Uh, keep in mind, Kramer's job is to create viewership. That's right. But you know what? Following his stocks and waiting for your setup, I don't think is a bad idea. Um, I think uh, Seinfeld's, uh, I'm not sure, Seinfeld's Kramer is better. I, I just got that. <laughs> In, look, anywhere you get charts from, anywhere 
anywhere, um, other trading rooms, TV, Mickey Mouse, it does not matter. It does not matter. If you look at the chart and you see potential, whether it be long or short, that's the chart you might want on your watch list. Cultivate your watch list, weed your watch list, fertilize your watch list, water your watch list, put it out in the sun. If it's going to freeze tonight, pull it inside. Don't let it freeze. Keep working with that watch list. And before you know it, you will find you are far more comfortable trader not looking at 5,000 charts but only looking at a handful of charts. And by the way, a handful of charts can be 100. It doesn't have to be 20. It can be 100. It can be 200 for that matter. But you've already weeded them down. And now you can go through that watch list and you can weed through them like this really quick if you do it manually. If you, you can do it manually here. And I'm just finding one that I might want to get rid of. I don't know that I want to get rid of any of these. Well, all right, let's just get rid of car for fun. So here we are. We just went through our watch list. All these are set up to the way I want them. And if you want to get rid of it, just get rid of it. Here, just there. I've weeded out my watch list. Now I can add more on there. And that's what I do with my managed list, and I just I shared earlier where you guys can get that managed list. And every couple of days, I update that, and it meets a lot of my criteria. In all fairness, I think Apple stays there the majority of the time. Microsoft stays there the majority of the time. Um, AMD, it's been kind of on and off, but on there the majority of the time. And all I'm doing is waiting for them to come up and set up. Take a look at NIO here. NIO. Now I'm, am I still in that? No, I sold. No, I sold my NIO. That's right. I sold it today up here. Now I'm waiting for NIO to set up again. Now I'm going to have to wait till after earnings. The only reason I really sold it today is it, it finished, it completed an RBB setup. And of course, the, the Fed's business tomorrow. Not interested in too much because of that. So anyway, use a watch list. Those with the scanner, I got to tell you right now, those with the LTA scanner, you have what I believe is the best technology since the bread slicer. <laughs> I mean, it, it, is, it is so cool. Don't let it get the best of you. If you if you get overly cumbered, you know, weighted down with it or confused, you're probably trying to do too much with it. You don't need to do so much with it. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks for everybody um, for being here. I, thank you so very much. Thanks for all the comments. Everybody, thank you for playing my little game and allowing me to be very, very upfront. I meant no, you know, nothing bad to anybody. Please don't take it uh, personal. Um, I really wanted to go in tonight only looking for charts that fit my criteria for the watch list. And if you notice, we looked through quite a few charts. What did I do? Put two or three, maybe four I flagged because I filtered out the other ones from what I like or don't like. And that's what everybody here, I think, should do. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see everybody tomorrow. I'll get this recording done, and I'll get it emailed out to you, okay? Thanks a lot, everybody. Take, take care. Have a great night.